If you stay to the end of this video, I'm about to show you how to create top tier t-shirt designs. You ain't gotta be a graphic designer. You ain't gotta understand difficult tools like Photoshop. I'm about to show you the AI. I'm about to show you the props. I'm about to show you the process. So get your pen and pad and your popcorn and let's go ahead and get this show on the road. It's time to run up a bag. All right, t-shirt millionaires, I ain't gonna play with you. I want you to go ahead and get in this paper, man. Quote for the t-shirt. So the first thing that we gonna do is we gonna go to tshirtmillionaires.ai. But the one that we gonna focus on today is called the Topic T-Shirt Blender. So what we need to do is we need to enter something over here on number one, and then we need to enter something over here on number two. So I just kind of thought about it and I was like, all right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna mix, you know, people love cats. Right, there's a lot of cat lovers out there, right? So people love cats and then, you know, we got the holidays coming up. So, you know, in a few months, you know, it'll be Christmas. So I wanted to go ahead and mix that together for those who might want to go ahead and do a little bit of Christmas planning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in cats, all right? And then after that, what I'm gonna type in is Christmas. We got two C's, all right? And then after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the submit button and we gonna see what the AI gives us, all right? So, you know, it gave us 30 of them. All right, cool, cool. So with that being said, the one that I like the best or the two that i like the best is santa claus coming to town and then it also had one on here for pause it says santa pause is making a list and checking it twice all right so i think we gonna go ahead and figure out how to utilize this one and then we also gonna figure out how to utilize this one right here so with that being said family the next thing that i want to do is i want to go over to my discord so we can play with mid journey a little bit so picture for the t-shirt Here's the Discord. If you haven't, you know, dealt with Discord or anything, you need to go to Mid Journey, sign up, get an account. You go connect it to a Discord and then you can start creating AI pictures. So with that being said, I'm gonna come down here to the bottom and I'm gonna type in Imagine. That's the first thing that we gotta type in. And then I'm thinking about the whole Santa Claus thing and I'm just telling, telling saying to myself right now, all right, let's do something to where, you know, it's a cat riding on a sleigh with a bunch of presents. And then I'm gonna say uh, Chibi Disney style and then i'm also gonna say side view right because I, I picture you know kind of riding on the side so we're gonna say side view and then i'm also gonna say white background all right so that's gonna be our first prompt that we put out we're gonna see what you know the ai comes up with what we gotta do is go ahead and wait for it we see what comes up all right all right all right i'm telling y'all well i'm about to show y'all how to get some paper so these came up i think these are cool you know what i'm saying these these little you know nice little kittens i like the the style of them they got the white background it's the presence around the one up here in the top left that one seems like he's on the sleigh the other one down here look like he in a i don't know like a little i don't know a scooter thing but you know nonetheless i think these are cool but it's not exactly what i'm looking for because i want it to be like santa claus so here's another little tip that i like to do and this is something that i like to do to get creativity when you go to midjourney.com you go to the community feed and when you go to the community feed what happens is you're able to see different styles on here right and see what other people created so what i like to do it's kind of scroll down and take a look at the styles and I can say okay you know I'm looking at them like I see this little Batman cartoonish style that one looks pretty good you know I see uh you know this little style over here these little retro designs you know that's pretty cool I like the style of that and how it looks so what I like to do is like find styles that really stand out to me and then what I'll do is I'll take a piece of that prompt and then I'll use it for my prompt I'll combine it with my prompt but here's one that that's pretty cool it's like a, a nice drawing it has these you know lines that really stand out so let's take a look to see you know how they ended up creating this so if i come over and i click on it and i scroll down it looks like they use this neo traditional tattoo design vector in the style of emily rose murray of a black and white snarling dog all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this first part right and i'm gonna stop at murray and then i'm gonna copy that and we're gonna come back over to the discord and so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do four slash imagine i'm gonna do paste and then i'm gonna take my specific prompt that i ended up using prior and i I am going to add it to the end of what I ended up getting from the Mid Journey community board. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit that and let's see what that does. All right, so it looks like it's coming together and I'm gonna tell you something. It didn't give me what I want, but I see the potential. So if we take a look at this family, basically the style of the way that this was created is fire. So with that being said, family, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run with this, but there's a couple of others that um, I ended up doing previously that I wanna show you. 
So let me go ahead and give you an idea what that looks like, right? So these are funky, funky, funky. All right, so these is crazy. So with that being said, like, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this, all right? And I'm gonna see if I can remake this one right here. And then I got a cat wearing a Santa Claus riding on a red sleigh, all right? I gotta spell sleigh right. All right, we gonna go ahead and hit enter on that. Let's see what we come up with. All right, so it looked like we got some incoming, incoming, incoming. Let's see what we got. All right, all right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. All right, so this look a little bit better, man. You know, we got a, you know, a little, you know, these ones right here, uh, this right here, you know, this one in the bottom right. So, you know, this one in the top, top left, this one, you know, stands out the most for me right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna ride with that one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit U1, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and make that one larger. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on it and then I'm gonna right click it and I'm gonna save it. All right, and it's gonna go to my computer and then I can use it when we start creating the design. So now at this point, we have a quote or saying, right? We got to choose which one we go do. I ended up having two that I like. So we have a quote for the t-shirt. We have a picture for the t-shirt. And now we got to figure out the layout of the t-shirt. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to go to Kittle, right? So this is Kittle.com. This is an amazing tool to where you ain't got to start from scratch. They got amazing layouts. And then what you do is you remix and you remake the layout and you make it yours. So with that being said, family, you know what I'm saying? I can come in here and I can click on t-shirts, all right? And when I click on t-shirts, I can just scroll through and see all of these different layouts. And, you know, at this time, I'm thinking, I'm just saying to myself, all right, you know, what is the, the style that I'm going for? Now, when it comes down to style, you got to think about the audience and who you're serving, right? Because, you know, if you have someone who likes more minimalist type stuff, then you're probably not going to have this type of style with the character and the money and stuff like that. You know, you might have someone who likes more of a style that I don't know is you know you look at this this is like a stream streetwear right so if that's your audience then you also need to make sure that the image that you make with AI matches that as well so you got to kind of have the eye on who's the audience how do the, the pictures and the layouts mesh together and so with that being said you know I'm just scrolling through and, and trying to figure out you know which one you know stands out the most to me basically I'm gonna try one more thing I'm gonna go to uh, mascots okay and so when I get here I like a few of these so what i'm gonna start is i'm gonna attempt to probably use this one all right so this one says groovy love t-shirt design all right so it has enough words if we go back over to t-shirt millionaires day i remember we had santa paul's um making a list checking it twice and then we also had santa claus is coming to town all right so what i think that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do santa claus coming to town just because it's, it's not as many words so i'm gonna click on use design and then when i get in here for use design now we can start cooking so with that being said i'm gonna start uh first thing is i'm gonna remove the picture right so i don't have any business i'll gotta use this we can go ahead and get this out of the way let me clear that out all right then the next thing that i want to do is i want to come over to where it says uploads and then i want to upload my picture all right so come over here and i'm gonna grab the picture that i want and then after i get that picture then it's gonna upload over into kittle and then i can use it for my design all right so now that we have the picture for kittle right what i'm gonna do is i'm going to expand this okay and i just want to see what it looks like and then at the next step that i'm going to take is i'm going to click on the ai background remover so i'm going to click on this button right here ai background remover and then once i remove this background you know it's like poof you know what i'm saying now, now it's like magic now there's something that i really want to i need y'all to understand when it comes down to this all right it ended up taking out my full background right so you know ideally what i probably would have wanted was it to take out just this you know light yellow part all right but it ended up taking a lot of this away as well that's perfectly fine if you run into issues one of the other tools that you can reach out and you could try to use is remove.bg all right and you could try that out and if i go to remove.bg and i click on that and then i hit remove it did pretty much the same thing and if this doesn't work then what you need to do is probably take it into illustrator or you can go to fiverr and just type in like you know vector pictures or remove background on pictures and somebody will do it for you for like five dollars if you don't have like illustrator or photoshop to be able to do it on your own so i think that that's just something that y'all need to know but in this circumstance right what i'm gonna do is just i'm gonna go ahead and use this all right you know i think it's still pretty good you know we got a little bit of it right here we got a little of it right here you know i'm just gonna make it seem like it, it plays right into the design so from here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make that a little bit smaller all right and then i'm gonna hit this little button right here and put it in the center and then what i'm gonna do is i think we said santa claus is coming to town all right so i'm gonna say santa and then claus and then down 
out here, I'm gonna say, is coming to town. We are already working, man. High quality designs, you know what I'm saying? We putting it together. So, you know, this is this is what we got right now. Now, you know, what I want to do is I want to switch the colors up, right? And and make sure that it looks good. So I'm gonna make like a red. We're gonna use Santa, uh, you know, Christmas colors. So I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna make that red. I'm gonna come over here and take this dark green and I'm gonna make it more of a, a lighter green. All right, let's see if we can kind of find the, the shade that we looking for. If I can bring that over a little bit. All right, so we got Santa Claus. All right, so that's cool. Then, you know, we got these little stars right here what i'm gonna do is i am going to go over to uh elements and then i'm gonna type in uh down here i'm gonna say like ornaments right ornaments all right and i'm gonna see if i can find like some little ornaments all right so you know something like this right i can take that you know remove these stars out add something like that to the design all right now you know i could go ahead and i could change the colors up and stuff a little bit if i want but you know i'm not messing with that right now then down here at the bottom i'm gonna click on that and i'm gonna change that color to so we'll make that red all right and then over here where it has like this little you know little star i might say something like uh let me go back over to the ai all right so we come over to the ai i'm gonna say merry catmas all right i'm gonna say merry catmas all right so i'm gonna come back over here and i'm gonna change this up to where it says merry catmas all right and then now what i need to do is probably make the make it a little smaller so that's perfect then i'm gonna take that background and instead of having like the brown we're gonna use the green on that so this is about balance right Right? these are these are the things we play with maybe i do that green and then i also make the words possibly red all right so i'll do that right and then what i want to do is it looks a little large so i'm probably gonna shrink that down a little bit you know just add it right there i think that's a cool little touch and as a matter of fact i might bring that there and then i might bring that one right there all right now the other thing that I want to mention, right, is, you know, the cat, it looks a little dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can, uh, you know, turn up the saturation a little bit just to make those reds a little bit vibrant. And then also turn up the little brightness of the cat just a little bit, you know, make it come out, um, you know, just a tad. OK, and then up here at the top, what I think I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to remove it. You know, I think we have a lot going on already. And so I'm just going to highlight this whole part and move that to the top. OK, perfect. And then now what I can do is I can expand this a little bit and, uh, boom there we go all right so we getting close y'all we getting close now you know i think it's all about preference right you know this is for the sake of tutorial but you know there's different things that we can do right we want to probably try to move some of this stuff back and around and you know maybe put these words in front of that so maybe it's, it looks like the you know the ornament is hanging off of the s a little bit i think that's a nice little play and then uh you know this down here because it's rounded i probably want to switch that up so i can come over here to where it says effects and or the actually transformation so i'm going to take that off right and then i can do a few things i can make it arch i can make it rise wave the angle flag all right so i think uh i don't know the arch kind of i don't know it has like a little nice little flair to it you know what i'm saying oh you know, i think it might work a little bit right so uh what i'll do also is for that arch i'm just gonna go ahead and make it a little larger there we go all right put it right there in the middle all right and there we go and what i'm gonna do also is uh one last thing i'm gonna see if i can just you know remove the background and one little tip that i like to you know let y'all know about is when you're designing it you know think about the background as the type of t-shirt that you're gonna use or you're gonna put it on so you know i can say all right i'm gonna be designing this this is gonna sit on a white t-shirt so i can know exactly what it's gonna look like right and then same thing right i might want to change it and say hey what would it look like on a black t-shirt right i think it's pretty cool on a black t-shirt it, it really stands out in those greens and everything are like really vibrant so but i'm gonna go with the white huh? black white y'all tell me put in the comments black white let's go with the white i'm gonna go with the white all right and then uh you know here's a little design that we got right and this is on the fly you know me personally i would probably be adding a few more little elements in here to make it stand out a little bit more but i think that this is a solid design and now we got a santa claus t-shirt that when it gets around to christmas and we got all the cat lovers out there they got something amazing to wear so y'all this is just the tip of the iceberg this is so fire this process is amazing y'all need to learn and y'all need to dive in on how to do that so i want you i want to run y'all back make sure y'all go to t-shirt millionaires.ai get an account you can come up with ideas then after that what you're gonna do is go to mid journey and when you go to mid journey that's gonna give you the different you know uh pictures that you can create and you can mess with the props and play around and tweak them until you get what you want and then you come over to kittle and that's when you take that quote you also take that design or that picture and then you mesh it in with a layout and now you got amazing t-shirts so that's it t-shirt millionaires if you love this make sure that you subscribe hit the notification 
vibration bell. And if you can see it with your mind's eye, then one day you're going to be able to see it with your real eyes, man. Santa Claus, man. Be blessed. Y'all take care. Blessings.